Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fu. Uh, today I'm going to share with you the analysis of the percentage of topics in the 10 years GC O level chemistry paper that all Singapore students offering pure chemistry will have to take at the end of the year. There are some changes announced by the ministry recently that organic chemistry will be taken out from the examination to ease stress on students in the midst of the pandemic. All right. However, I was just carry on um, with the assumption that organic chem will still be tested. Okay, because organic chemistry is a very important topic because of the breadth of the amount of content that are tested in the syllabus. Um, it is the last topic uh, covering from um, petroleum, hydrocarbons, alcohol carboxylic acid, uh, ester, and then polymer. So there are many, many contents uh, under organic chemistry. So if you look at the breakdown of the marks for paper one, okay, starting from 2011, we can see that the percentage coverage is at least 15%. And among all the topics, it is the topic that has the highest percentage. And normally in the MCQ paper one, they will be the last few questions. Last year, about 10 questions are organic chemistry. Yep. So we can see that organic chemistry is super important. Uh, if this is going to be the percentage this year, the lowest it ever has is only about six marks, which means that the range is between six to 10. Minimum six, maximum 10 based on past year trends from 15% of the whole paper one to 25%, which means that given the same duration of time for the candidate to complete the paper, they will have much more time to focus on other questions and hopefully will do better. Okay, another topic to pay attention to other than organic chemistry is metals and chemical bonding. Okay, these two are the very big topics as observed in the trend over the years. Although last year in 2020, metals doesn't appear a lot. Same for bonding. But if you look at previous years, the yellow highlighted portion refers to the topics that have beyond 7%, meaning 8 percent or more uh, percentage coverage for the entire paper. So almost every year without fail, chemical bonding is in that category. Only for last year, uh, only about 3% of the paper is chemical bonding. That is because uh, the marks could be allocated to other topics. Um, metals, just like metals, surprisingly last year, Metals has been having six, five, or minimum four, or sometimes three questions. Because metals is a very big topic, ranging from uh, reactivity of metals, structure of metal and alloy, uh, corrosion uh, of metals, rusting, recycling of metal. It is also another big topic, although not as big as organic chem, it's still a relatively big topic and not to forget extraction of metal. So about five subtopics under it. So it's not surprising that you can expect a lot of questions from there. As for bonding is also a very important topic with a big chunk of information such as um, covalent bonding, ionic bonding, metallic bonding, um, giant molecular structure. So a lot of questions can be asked from there, like properties and interpreting the thought and cross diagram. In the structure paper, you will see a lot of questions that actually test students to draw thought and cross and it appear almost every year. Not every year, but almost every year. So students must know how to draw thought and cross of both covalent and ionic because they will be tested, all right? They will be tested at a high probability. Um, Surprisingly, properties aren't test as much as thought and cross. 
Okay. Um, the other big topic to pay attention to is more concept, definitely. More calculation is not just a standalone topic. It can appear in all the topics. All right. As long as there are calculations involving, let's say, empirical formula, calculation of volume of gas, calculation of mass, uh, and percentage yield and purity, yeah, then there'll be more calculation. That's why even in MCQ, right, um, you can see a, quite a high percentage of it. So over the past 10 years, seven times it appeared 8% or more, okay? With the highest having four to four to five questions which is in 2012 and 2013. Okay, then other topics, I'm not saying they're not important. Recently, if you notice the trend, right, there has been a moving trend towards energetics. Yeah, like last year, both paper one and two, we have seen quite a high weightage for energetics. Okay, uh, the database question in 2020 is an energetics question where students are required to draw the energy level diagrams. Um, surprisingly, electrochem has been losing its importance over the years. Yeah. Uh, in the earlier years, we see more electrochem questions. And also in the earlier years, we see more um, acid-based questions when we look at paper two later. In MCQ, if you look at your topical 10 series, you don't really see a lot of acid-based sorts of questions. Yeah, they don't really test so much in MCQ, surprisingly. Although it seems that students have great difficulty with this topic because the somehow they, they couldn't uh, you couldn't remember some of the reactions or confuse between some of the important reactions yeah there are some important concepts and common questions they had to ask then um, periodic table yes periodic table is very important also yeah periodic table very very important so uh, group one group seven noble gases please pay attention to them. So, and not maybe not as much in MCQ, but we look at the structure is quite important. And there's a growing emphasis on environmental issues. So, air is a very hot topic. And um, it could be a database question, but I dare not to speculate. Lah. But it seems that the, it seems that the percentage of the topic seems to be quite a lot, especially in the earlier years. But in the latest years, not as much, but we never know about this year. Yeah, because of the recent uh, concern about the environment, uh, especially issues like global warming. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not saying the rest of topics are not important, but I'm just showing you by statistics. Okay, so if you look at the number of times 8% or more appear, the most common one definitely is organic chem. Number two, metals and periodic table. Okay, I put metals above bonding and variable because of the breadth of the topic. Yeah, there are many, many, many questions that can be asked for metals, followed by bonding and the periodic table. Periodic table is kind of overlap with other topics such as atomic structure. So uh, when you study atomic structure, you are also studying periodic table. More calculation, definitely, they will have some questions on that. That's for sure. Energetics, growing importance. Uh, acid base salt will be the next, and the rest of it will appear in small bits. QA, redox, air, electrochem. Yeah. But I am not saying experiment design you can ignore. Experiment design will surely be tested if you look at the trend. Yeah, recent paper, at least one question per paper. Sometimes it may not appear like in um, 2014, but that's once in a while. Yeah, so we just assume that you'll be coming out. Separation technique, uh, they tend to like to ask chromatograph, uh, chromatogram or uh, distillation. Yeah, these are the, or they want to ask how to determine the melting point. Uh, like melt the substance, making sure you melt at a fixed temperature uh, that is a melting point, something like that to test the purity of substance. They seem to like to ask that. QA, a few here and there. Yeah, it's combined with salts. Lah. KPT, yes, uh, they like to ask questions like, um, how the rate of diffusion is affected by temperature, affected by relative molecular mass. Then they will ask um, if there are two gases of different mass, which one diffuse faster? Yeah, something along that line. Yeah, something along that line. KPT, not much. Yeah, not much. Yeah, pretty much like those lower set topics, right? Like set that KPT, atomic structure, EMC. 
they are very low set topics. So O level don't focus so much. They do ask, but not a high percentage. But it doesn't mean you don't study. These questions are supposed to be easy. Yeah. The, the one that you need to focus on is whatever I write here like in this order. So you study organic chem, but if this is not tested this year, which is the case, then you go on to metals, bonding, periodic paper, more in this order. Yeah. But somehow if you go and look at paper two, okay, it's more difficult to differentiate a question by a topic because you could have two or three topics overlapping in the same question. So I will just look at um, what is more significant. Uh. So what I did was, uh, the whole paper two was about only 80 marks, 50 marks session A, 30 marks session B. Session B, you have one database question, another question, then the last question is either or, but I just count everything as 90 marks. Uh. Easier for me to compute. So I was, um, I'm not trying to highlight those very uh, significant topics that will appear very frequently or more than uh, more than five or more five or more times. Okay, interestingly, right? I find that they like to ask a lot of bonding over the years. Bonding, more concept definitely because more concept will appear can appear in every topic, and indeed they did so. Energetics is getting more and more prominent, but actually. From 2013 to 2015, uh, sorry, from 2012 to 2000, yeah, correct, 2013 to 2015, the percentage of questions for energetics is quite high and it dropped to zero in 2016, come back again, drop, no questions, and then suddenly come back last year. So will it come back again this year? We're not sure. We cannot speculate, really. We just assume that it will. And if it does, right, it can come up with in small marks, or it can come as a whole question, or it can come out as a session A question uh, that share marks with other questions. You never know. So we have to look at all the 10 years question and see what are the possible type of questions. So energetic is something that we should not overlook and should not underestimate. Yeah, that's something we need to take note of. Uh, so other than chemical bonding, more concept and energetics, right? Other topics to pay attention to is the last four here. Of course, organic chem, I shall not talk about it. Uh, it will be periodic table. Yes, periodic table. Over the years, especially from 2013 to 2016, quite a high percentage of questions asked from this topic. Okay, then it dropped a bit in terms of percentage, percentage 2017, come back again 2018. And then you don't see much in the last two years. So there is a high possibility that this year, 2021, there'll be quite a number of marks on periodic table. Again, I don't want to speculate. I'm just looking at the trend. It seems to be like that. So metals wise, metal and periodic table seem to move together because these two topics are very closely related. So periodic table and metals could be quite high this year. Let's say if periodic table is high, there's a probability or a significant probability that metals could be high also, but I'm not 100% sure about that because um, I'm not a setter. I do not know he or her psychology. Uh, some setter prefer to focus on one topic in a question. Some love to overlap different topic, which is actually more challenging because you need to look at the question as a whole and link the different concepts together in one question. Yeah, that will be a bit more challenging, but I'm sure you can do it with more practice. Um, Air-wise, as I said, the growing emphasis on environmental. So, it seemed to be quite high then in certain years like 14 and the last two years, it seemed to be quite quiet. Yeah, relatively quiet. Last year came out about three marks. Uh, you may not agree with the way I allocate the marks. It's just based on uh, my own uh, prediction, my own, not say prediction, my own uh, feel that what, what this question could be under the topic. So it, they, they definitely, they're overlapping. That's why I'm saying, it's very difficult to classify every single mark yeah, for which topic. I'm just trying my best to, to group them as best as I could. Okay? But most of them, you can do so. Lah. All right, and then um, what else? So in conclusion, some of the insights right, to take note of is uh, do pay attention to organic chem, but seems it's not going to be tested. This year, you can ignore that. There will be bonding and more calculation. The more calculation must be very good. 
it really appeared quite a few. So um, over the years, right, maybe we may not have very, very high percentage, but it's still there, the number of marks. And normally, you, can't, you cannot escape from more calculation. There will be some questions directed for that. Then also air, air, metals, periodic table, energetics. Of course, we cannot ignore electrochem, acid bases, salts, and kinetics. Lah. Yeah. Kinetics seem to be a bit not so much, but last year it came out quite a lot. It's already no, 2019, I mean, 2019 came out quite a high percentage. But over the years, out of the 10 years, only three years, you see that the percentage is more than 7%. Yeah. So only in one year, it came out as a very long question. Okay. Interestingly, for ammonia, only one year in 2016, it came out as a eight marks question. In some years, you don't even see that appearing, but it doesn't mean you don't study ammonia at all. It just means that the probability of it appearing as a high percentage is very low, very, very low, because the topic is very small. I mean, logically. Lah. So you need to know what to focus on. Lah. Okay, But of course, you have to focus more on the big topics like this. Bonding, more air, metals, project table, energetics, electrochem. Electrochem do not underestimate it. Although in recent years, right, the percentage given is getting smaller, but you never know. 2015 was the last time it has 12%. But you never know whether this will come back as a full-blown question. Yeah, so we don't underestimate. Yeah, because it has been quite a long time that anyone has set a full database question on electrochem since 2015. Okay, that question was quite a tough one, the mercury cell. So uh, then before that, they set another long question. So it's not difficult to do an electrochem. So um, even if it doesn't come as a full-blown question, at least there are some marks you can earn from it. Like they will ask some basic questions like um, the difference between uh, molten sodium chloride and concentrated and dilute sodium chloride. What are the products formed at the amyl and crypto? Very common type of questions. If that is the case, because this is what they have been asking for the past few years. And um, acid bases used to be quite very high because they used, there used to be a trend on titration curve. Yeah, but then they suddenly stopped. So since 2016, we don't see much of that kind of questions. Yeah, yeah. so it's not a lot of the trend. The trend is more towards energetics in recent year. The database question is an energetic question and, um, and a question on redox. Yes, redox with some more calculation. Yeah, that was the recent, recent papers. Kinetics, you never know. Kinetics have been quite quiet. The last big question was in 2013, then some years, the percentage is very low. In, in, even it don't appear at all. Yeah. If, when you look at MCQ, right, for kinetics, right, you will notice that the percentage is really very, very little. Yeah. So you do not need to spend too much time on this, seriously. Yeah. They only come up one or two questions. Yeah. In fact, um, even redox is more popular than kinetics. Okay, so I mean, I'm not trying to speculate what will come out for O-level this year. I'm just trying to use data to show the trend. Okay, I hope this will be helpful to students. Like you always ask how, what to focus on in chemistry. How, what should I study first? Okay, what should I uh, uh, be, be more careful about which topic? Okay, so I already tell you in order of the topic for paper one will be this one. Paper two is very hard for me to put them one by one. So I put that in groups like this. Okay, so I hope it will make you feel better and help you prepare for your end of your exam. So wish you all the best and take care, stay safe. Thank you. Bye.